Hi, my name's Alex Amadon. Have you ever wondered how much time you waste at red lights? Look at this familiar situation. After a car and a pedestrian cross this road, a dead time drags on at this red light which benefits to nobody. Not only this time is wasted for the motorist waiting for the light to become green, but also for all those in line behind. When this situation repeats itself several times on a route, it can generate frustrations amongst commuters and become quite stressful. Moreover, it comes along with an increase in gas consumption and air pollution. Yet, there is a simple solution wherever visibility is good like here. Forget about vehicle detection sensors, which have their own limitations and do not fully eliminate dead times. Either you can run the red light, as most drivers do in India or Africa, or your local authorities can decide to equip such intersections with a dynamic stop sign. That is, keep the tricolor traffic light, but replace the red light by a luminous stop sign in a sequence green-yellow stop. This allows drivers to move on if their way is clear. By replacing traditional stop signs, the dynamic stop sign can offer an alternating right-of-way at crossroads where traffic tends to intensify. But contrary to traditional traffic lights, the dynamic stop sign avoids useless waiting times at red light when traffic becomes scarce. With the dynamic stop sign, the advantages of both traffic lights and stop sign have been combined into a single device which gets rid of their respective drawbacks. In this simple crossroads example, by replacing the red lights with dynamic stop signs, the drivers must give way to those with the green light, which could be a flashing yellow light so as to not let drivers think they can drive carelessly through the intersection. But if their way is clear, those motorists with the stop sign on are no longer constrained to wait until their light turns green to pass their way. At rush hour, the dynamic stop sign acts exactly like a tricolor traffic light. Drivers have to wait that their light turns green to move on. But as soon as traffic lightens, motorists can pass the intersection as they would do with a traditional stop sign. With this device, dead times are eliminated. Several forms are possible for the dynamic stop sign. The most obvious one is an LED display depicting a stop sign then this very display might as well show the traffic lights in sequence in the cycle green, yellow, stop. And to comply with the highway code, which does not know any object displaying such a sequence, the red light can be inserted between the yellow light and the stop sign for a couple of seconds. The dynamic stop sign then appears either as a standard traffic light or as a standard stop sign. The dynamic stop sign brings more flexibility in road traffic control by offering a clever alternative to red lights. As long as there is no bottleneck down the road, it makes traffic flow more smoothly and eliminates superfluous traffic jams. It is synonymous with time saving and generates less stress and more serenity. The dynamic stop sign rehabilitates the driver's responsibility. The driver will have to pay closer attention to the intersection for more security and less accidents. In an urban environment, the spared useless waiting times at red lights will mean less vehicles on the road network, reduced gas consumption, less noise, less air pollution, so less mortality, less greenhouse effect and less impact on the climate. The dynamic stop sign is simple to install. Existing traffic light columns or rows just have to be replaced by a dedicated LED screen interface with the usual traffic light controller. No sensor nor complicated software is required. It is economical because contrary to standard traffic lights, it does not need to come along with any repeater. With this time and gas saved, the driving taxpayer will enjoy the public investment made by changing his neighborhood traffic lights into dynamic stop signs. For more information on dynamic stop signs, please send me an email. Bye!